Surprise. I'm sorry, Cock. I really am. Prince Agalian. Oh, for my transfer. Oh, hi. Lawyer was so cookie, so I decided to buy a new one. Oh, beggar, put your mattress work done. I want a thing of it. Amy! Topics highlighted in the film are very African by nature and very close to home, so I believe a lot of people will be able to relate to it. Especially um, the market that this film is directed towards is not necessarily your, your film-going market, um, which is a very untapped market. And the viewership is uh, the unbanked in the movie industry. We think the film will succeed in that regard because the, the, the issues are topical, the issues of, of mattress banking, the issues of exploitation of women, the, the issues of life in an informal settlement uh, are issues that most South Africans can readily relate to. I took the script because I loved it so much. It is action-packed and also it's about families. Uh, when he gave me the script I fell in love with it. It's a beautiful script. It's, um, um, it's it's a kind of material that actors dream of. There's a whole lot of beatings, there's a whole lot of rolling on the floor, homatalis azimi, I've been bruised, maybe like physically I'm bruised, sunburned, you know. Adze Ugo, when he, when he speaks about it, he says that it, he wrote the film to honor the most forgotten person um, in South Africa, who is an older woman, who is a woman who's kind of given her part of her life to, to the country and now she lives in a shack. It's about our journeys as people and um, there are things that you find yourself having to do because A, life is life. She, she goes through a lot but then at the end of it, so yeah, it, it, it was challenging but then I love the challenge. You know, it's such an exciting ambience to be a part of, and I think especially this movie, working with Mam Lili and Mama Wami for many years. With people like Mam Lili and Dube, I was nervous, I don't want to lie. But after working with her, she made me feel so good about myself. Her name is Kariso Rakosha, and she plays the part of Agnes, who is my granddaughter. And being a grandmother myself, there's been this wonderful, wonderful bonding. It's an honor for me as an actor to be on set, to work with these incredible people. These are the gurus of acting. These are the legends to me. You know, they've been there for years and it's, it's, it's always nice to learn from the best. It's nice working with, I mean, the likes of Ma Lilian, which is, which is brilliant. I mean, for me, it's an honor actually. You know, I, I watched her get a, uh, an award, Kodi Safters and working with Bukahiso, which is, which is brilliant, you know, and which is, there's a big confusion on set because I'm Kahiso, she's Kahiso. So yeah, enjoy, I know Mam, oh, Mam Lilian Dube, no Kahiso is the first time in Sevenza no Kahiso, but a set, it's nice, and the people, the crew, everything is, hey, the atmosphere is number one. Script is hilarious and um, tragic at the same time. And I'm loving it. There's a whole lot of action, you know. And uh, as Kichilo Velo with La Talafazi, Ninning, so you tola, your hands are tough to go around, the club on a Ninning is a little too near, Ninning is so um, doing explicitly the garbage guy, you know. So she, she goes through a lot, but then at the end of it, Eva Hori, what's Eva Honoi Udulali thing? She being myself helps Agnes. Um, get out of her uh, her life, you know, her, her life at home in the squatter camp and brings her into the city life and helps her find ways of making money. Basically, the, the description of the character is, is very, 
He comes from a background where he just kills. He, he's, he's a thug. He's a really hardcore thug. He kills people without feeling anything. He has, he's got no remorse. I play the police officer, and uh, what's interesting about the police officer is that you know he's rigid, and but then at some point you find that he you know he reveals that he's gay. So I haven't played a thug before uh, or a pimp, so. It was another journey of my life as an actor to prove myself that, you know what, I could do it. I'm uh, very similar to the characters I've played before because they're Papa. I think Banga was first by Papa generally. I always hear there are no small roles, only small actors. I proved that to go to that is so true. I just had one scene here in this movie. It's a flashback, but you know what? I think it's got the most impact. Um, I thought also the role that it actually gives me, you know, a freedom to go to to explore, you know, and um, to go to town with it, you know, and play around with it. And that's exactly what I did. You know what? Um, I'd say the first day, na kore fitla wito ro na kopa la sheling scriptiko. As long as you know hore story se na se mama pi an. So oro du mile to re be free, oro du mile to re la leka so na script. So which as a director, oro bon si to hore leka hola or even make it your own. You know, so it was very educative. Working on this production was more of um, a unique collaboration of love. You know, we each artist here brought something to the fore, you know. It was such a beautiful experience with Shutale movie, you know, working because I come from a SOP environment where we work the whole year with same people, directors, working experiencing Otanisabatlugile, he made us feel so com so comfortable. And that's what this thing is about. It's about enjoying what we do and what we love. Yeah. You will see a whole different side of Dachi, so a whole different side of Namli, don't do it. And other can you say Pandanavali things? They should expect uh, a mind blowing, well crafted, honestly told story. It's a beautiful story. It's told with passion. We haven't seen anything like this film uh, in, in, in South Africa to date. The Free Sanakao failed to make a beautiful product. So um, hopefully you guys will go out there and watch it. I think the film is, 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 a, really, is a really fun, um, unexpected story. And I think people will really enjoy it. Okokoga Eknes. I think she takes the cake. She defines the whole movie. With Ekwineni, you know what? Evil does not prevail. Good prevails Ekwineni because she's been taken for a ride. Napa nanga pupo kwe shu pege la but Ekwineni, she gets what she wants. How ya as a sila ngenda? She shoot him with a gun. Eku ulubaba. Enes kona na atila. Proudly South African. Uti ni bare.